Ellie Ghost. I went through it with Israel. She was like, good filter. She's like, Hallmark card! Like, yeah, I know, it sucks. Yeah, okay. Start that <laughs>
secret God's secret plan lest you would be wise in your own conceits to keep you from thinking too well of yourself that you would not feel proud and start bragging that blindness in part has happened to Israel a partial blindness a temporary insensibility that blindness has fallen on part in part that the blindness of heart has come to some degree to Israel that the callousness which has come over Israel is only partial until the fullness of the Gentiles becomes in, until the full measure of the nations comes in, until the full body of the Gentiles comes in, until the great mass of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Israel shall be saved. <laughs> and then all Israel shall be saved, and in this way all Israel will be saved. And once this has happened, all Israel, the whole of Israel will find salvation as it is written. There shall come out of Zion that deliverer. The deliverer will come from Zion and turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And he will remove all ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I have taken away their sins. This is the covenant I will grant them when I have taken away their sins. As concerning the gospel, as touching the joyful message in the preaching of the gospel from the standpoint of good news and respect of the glad tidings, they were enemies for your sake. They are treated as enemies of God on your account. God rejected them to make room for you, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. In respect of God's choice, there is beloved for their father's sake. From the standpoint of God's selection, they are dear to him on account of the patriarchs. But in his elective purpose, he welcomes them for the sake of the fathers. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. For no change of purpose can annul God's gift. For God never regrets his gifts or his call. For God does not change his mind about those to whom he gives his blessing or sends his call. For God does not withdraw his gift and his call, for the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. As in times past, you have not believed God. But even though these have now believed, that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. For God hath concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. All! Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. What a fathomless depth lies in the wisdom and knowledge of God. How inexhaustible God's resources, wisdom, and knowledge are. Frankly, I stand amazed at the unfathomable complexity of God's wisdom and God's knowledge. How oh, what a wonderful God we have. How great are his wisdom and knowledge and riches. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For of him and through him and to him are all things. All things find in him their origin, impulse, and the center of their being. He is the source, guide, and goal of all that is, to whom be glory forever. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Unfathomable mercy upon all.
a little mercy. Mercy. Who collaborates? Yeah, 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 yeah. Show up on time, empty headed.
better enjoyed it. <laughs>